What's going on you guys? Happy Thanksgiving. I'm out here at Michaelers Landing. Michaelers, fan ride this time. Got the first rod set up. I got three rods with me today. Um, I've got my rod carrier from Rod Runner, not sponsored, but I just love this thing. It makes carrying all my rods a lot easier. Of course, you know we gotta have the American flag on Thanksgiving, so. We're getting all set up and hopefully it'll be a good day of fishing. Sun is just about to peak up over those clouds. It's gonna be a good morning. I think high tides in about an hour, I think. Don't quote me on that, but uh, hoping for some pompano or some, something tasty. I brought the big rod today. Fixed that mistake from last time, so. Here's to a good morning of fishing before we go eat some turkey. Ah, oh, look, got some whales out there. Or not whales, uh, that's fucking, oh! Am I getting something? I'm getting something, I'm getting something. Yeah, that's something. Unless I pulled it right out of its mouth. <laughs> Might have pulled it right out of its mouth. Oops. <laughs> or of course, you know, it's because I have no bait. It could also be that. That could also be a problem. All right, I've got shrimp. Sand fleas, like a look, like a couple, like four sand fleas, uh, some frozen mullet, and fish bites. So, on my two smaller rods, I'm gonna throw one out with fish bites, one out with shrimp. Don't make fun of my tourist rig. I didn't feel like tying one up this morning, and this is an extra one I had in my bag. So, this is what we're working with. I can't tell you guys how many people take pictures of my flag. All right, we're gonna get the other rod set up real quick. This, this one we're gonna put fish bites on. Oh, there's something out there. Dang it. All right, well, I'm gonna get the fish bites rod set up. That way I have less of a chance of losing whatever. Oh, wow. Look at that, you guys. Sun's just now peeking up. Oh, that's just gorgeous. I have to snap a quick picture of that. Wow. And we might, we should have a surprise guest. I don't know when they will be getting here, but. Oh, that's gorgeous. All right, let's get this uh, other rod set up here. Think I've got something? I don't know. Nah, I'm fairly confident there's something on here. Oh yeah. What do we got? A little whiting. First, first, ah, come on. <laughs> come on, don't, don't, don't be like that. Ow, come on. 
First fish of the day, a little whiting. Um, he's a feisty one. He's got a little bit of meat on him, but not as much as I'd prefer, so we're gonna toss him back. Hopefully, uh, hopefully that's the turn. Hopefully that is the turning point and we start getting some more stuff. All right, switching it up a little bit, putting chunk mullet on this setup here. I don't want to toss that too far out there. Right in the middle. Why don't you stop? <laughs> what do you think you're going to have? Shark? Um, it's either a shark or a bluefish. Yeah, I'd keep him, but he's a little small. This is a bonnet head. A bonnet head? It's in the hammerhead family, but um, typically when people think of hammerheads, they think of great hammerheads. We have those here, but they're about 14 foot long, so <laughs> a little different. But yeah, these guys, um, this is actually almost a full grown adult. They get full size at about two and a half, three foot. Um, but they taste delicious because they uh, predominantly feed on crabs. Crabs and shrimp, so they taste very good. Thank you. Yeah. Well, it's about time. Yeah. Late. Jesus. It's not awful.